What is up? Happy Wednesday. Today is day one for me of a little challenge I've picked up. I am eating 3,200 plus calories a day for the next three weeks. Yeah, that's a lot for me. I'm 5'4", I'm a very average height, and I currently weigh about 144 pounds. <laughs> I just got on the scale this morning, actually. I had to go buy one. <laughs> so that is a caloric surplus. And I'm doing an experiment. I want to not bust, but challenge the calories in slash calories out theory. <laughs> it's not that I don't believe calories matter. It's that I believe a lack of education in hormones oversimplifies calories a little bit. I think there's way more to food and nutrition than calories and even macros. You know, people think like, oh, once I got the macros down, I'm good. But I think there's more to it than that. So I'm excited to do this. Number one, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Well, for one, I like eating. <laughs> I love eating. I'm so excited to do a challenge. Like how often have we done challenges where we're starving the whole time? I'm so excited to do one where I'm like super full the whole time. <laughs> also, I've never seen a woman do this. I've seen men do this experiment. Experiment? Yeah, experiment. Uh, but I've never seen a woman do it. So I am eager to be one of the first to try this out and see exactly what happens. I'm really not scared of gaining weight. I live in Montana and it's cold and it's not like I'm gonna be in a bikini. <laughs> Number two, I hope to educate. I That's a big thing. I really hope to educate people and show them, don't be scared of food, it's okay. Uh, the beauty of this is I'm hoping through this journey, if you follow me through this journey, you'll learn a little bit about the hormones that can make you gain weight. I really encourage people when they take on a ketogenic diet to try to eat somewhat intuitively because, but people are so scared of eating too much because fat is really calorie dense. So I'd really hope that through this process, I can show people that maybe it's not as important as we've always thought. My macros. So I've been calculating my food and my macros, everything. In fact, let me take a look at it for you. I have it on my fitness pal here. <laughs> So basically, I'm eating approximately 7% of my calories from carbohydrates if you're counting the total carbs. So it's about 50 to 60 total carbs, and then that ends up being like 20 to 30 net carbs. And then fats around 280 to 290 grams a day. Lord, please make sure I don't poop my pants. <laughs> Hi, if you guys don't know, fat is like almost like a diuretic for your butthole. And I'm telling you, like, if you eat too much, you can, like, be on the toilet. <laughs> so I, I've never had that issue, but he wouldn't be mad. My husband sure has. So, and we've learned that it's when he eats way too much fat at once that that's what causes it. So, yeah. And protein, I'm keeping, I weigh about one, like I said before, 144. So I'm probably keeping my protein around, I work out a lot. So, like, one, 100 to like I'm gonna try to keep it under 130 at the highest. Now when I say I work out a lot, one thing I'm keeping like a constant in this experiment is the amount of workouts that I do. I wanna make sure that it's the same as what I did before, which I do live workouts every morning with my clients, 45 minutes of a good workout. And then I teach a couple group fitness classes every week. But basically this is, some, this is what I've been doing for years. Next question, how, how am I assessing my progress? So, Every week, probably, I'm going to be taking like a video of my body because that's always fun to do. It's not every week, so that's, I hate doing that shit. Um, and I'm taking measurements of my waist, my hips, my arms, my legs, my booty. Can't be losing my booty gains. <laughs> I would be shocked if I lost my butt in this process. I don't think that will be happening. And my weight, of course. I bought a scale. You guys, I haven't owned a scale in forever. So this is kind of a big deal that I bought a skill for this. This is because I have to kind of prove the point, right? Rules. So I, ugh, I hate rules. Don't you hate rules? So I eat, pro, I primarily eat like very low dairy, but there's some things that I've decided are just like, I love them more than I love having a face with no inflammation. <laughs> So like I've noticed that my face gets a little bit of inflammation when I eat dairy, but I'm just cool with that. Like it's just kind of something I'm accepting. So it's very minimal though, and it, I don't really seem to get it. But, um, I'm doing a little butter, like grass-fed butter, 
and I'm doing some sour cream. And so far that's it. The, the big one, I, should, I, I don't want to let cheese back in my life because that's what I tend to eat like mass amounts of. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. On Friday, you'll get a vlog from me that'll show you a full day of eating with this 3,200 plus calories a day. And I say 3,200 plus because I know my fitness pal isn't super accurate um, and it's often underestimate. So anyway, I'll, I'll give you a peek into everything that I'm doing and you'll get weekly updates from me on this. So in three weeks, we'll see if I weigh, as per the calorie counters, I should be gaining like eight to 10 pounds. So we'll see if I'm eight to 10 pounds of fat heavier in three weeks. Adios!